No. Yeah. Madam Speaker, um, the Assyrian allegations of corruption involving Joe Biden have Excuse been me, raised it, in it, recent it, days. Um, have the, have I'm sorry, prepared, I'm not answering your questions, okay? We're today. talking about the coronavirus. That's what I, I don't have all day for questions. That's what we're taking now. Anybody have a question on the coronavirus negotiations? Yes. I wondered how confident you were that 13 Republican senators would go over. There's been skepticism from Senate Majority Whip's doing about not having enough. And then also, have you had discussions with Mnuchin about convincing Republican senators? Let me say this. I'm not particularly interested in a bill that has 13 senators. We have to have strong bipartisanship on the legislation that we come together on. I would hope that we could have bipartisanship in the House and in the Senate. We've negotiated four of these bills. The last bill, the CARES Act, was a terrible bill. It was corporate trickle-down. We had our bill take responsibility, and we brought it to bubble up. We didn't get everything we wanted. They still got the $150 billion for the richest people in America. But nonetheless, uh, we got a bill that made I think a, a good difference, not everything, but a good difference. So that, that's not, getting Republican votes is not my job, <laughs> in case you didn't notice. That's up to them. That's up to them. And uh, uh, again, they know, they, they, I think they come to the table with some level of confidence that if we can reach an agreement uh, that, that we can, the president wants a bill. The president wants a bill. And so that's part of the, um, opportunity that we have. Yes, ma'am. Forgive me on that. You say the president wants a deal. The president wants a deal until the minute he decides that he doesn't want a deal. That's so, right. So how do you... <laughs> <laughs> it's so, called disarray. <laughs> Mitch McConnell, the president. Uh, right. And you're also running up against some logistics in terms of trying to get this, like you said, you still got things you got to work out on state and local. You still got things you got to work out and get pen to paper and get it done. So... That comes up against ele actual election day. So is it more important to get it done before election day, or is it more important to get it done and you don't really care when that happens as long as it gets done? Like, are you willing to wait until after to get what you want, or do you need it before? Well, we, we're not going to agree to a bill that is not uh, acceptable to my, my caucus and to my chairs who've effectively written the HEROES Act. Uh, the, uh, I think we're talking about the same thing. It's only about time. Now, somebody may make a decision on their side that they don't want it before the election. I think it is arranged for us to pass it before the election. But it's not up to me to decide what the Senate does. That's a conversation between the president uh, and, and the majority leader. But uh, we wouldn't take less of a bill to get it sooner. We want the best bill uh, in, in range. And, and again, as I've said, and I'll end with this, what I say is, help is on the way. It will be bigger. It will be better. It will be safer. And it will be retroactive. Thank you all. Bye-bye.